No, I, I actually kind of want this to play out now. I think maybe he's a tad pointer. I, I say as I wave at the bar, bar person. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me put on my beer goggles. Good, 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 good. Okay, I can do it now. Good thing I'm a female and I don't get from uh, Brewer's Troop. So, you're currently drinking more and more booze. Would you like Squirrel to go negotiate? <laughs> After yeah, well, once my penalties are high enough. <laughs> Squirrel? Yes? Do your thing. I'll uh, I'll go across the bar, sit maybe a stool away from him, looking at my drink and say... Uh, See the lovely blue-haired woman at the end of the bar? He turns his head, which just the sound of his flesh flapping against flesh makes you go... Go there, have my gag reflex removed. Nice. He's like, ah, see the pretty girl over there. She's, uh, she's working tonight. Really? How much for the working girl? Well, that depends on how much you're willing to offer. Hmm. I will say this. Um, I'm not cheap, Squirrel. <laughs> Her talents go beyond just the physical. Want me to roll seduction now? Sure, go ahead. Let's see how. Uh, let's, Douglas, what would be your minimum price? Um. Actually, more than anyone here could afford, I assume. Like 10 grand. I could have... Oh, in the bar, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like, I could have poured you 30 times over. Yeah. Okay, so 10,000? Uh, that would be my minimum. Okay. Well, the game in negotiating prices, whoever says the number first loses. Oh, yeah. But I kind of, I kind of want to see uh, Zav's seduction roll. Uh, how rich do I think he is? Bear in mind, I can probably work it out if I, if you want me to. Well, no, no, no. It's just trust. Like I'm, I'm gonna add on to uh, add on to your minimum for every hit. Uh, I was just wondering whether to spend edge or not, and, and now you convinced me. <laughs> He can afford a designer suit that's the size of a circus tent. There you go. And yeah, Squirrel, currently you are her fixer. <laughs> you can add that onto your job application. So eight successes. Hmm. If you don't give me any penalties for being drunk, or, or any bonuses for being drunk. Eh, he's he's not really close enough uh, to you in order to actually uh, notice anything, so, nah. Well, I'll go for a walk, if I can stand up. There's a reason I don't wear heels. Nice. Of course, any professional working girl can run in heels at full sprint. Oh, it's really not that hard to do. I want to know I don't wear heels. To be fair, no, do I. <laughs> I so, do. So yeah, he look he looks over at Zev at the bar and just thinks about it. And let's see here. Eight hits. He's welcome to resist. A hundred thousand. Uh, 
Oh, sir. I think you underestimate her talents. So no street rep for this, but... Yeah, he can't exactly see who you are right now. He can't turn his head that far. He could just barely turn it to see the bar. Wow, I am making him out to be worse than the blob. Yeah, you are. Quite truthfully, the person I had in mind was that uh, corporate executive Douglas introduced us to. Eleven successes. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. He's a corporate executive, so I'm going to give him some pretty good dice. And eh, not as good as you, mind you, but, you know. Let's see. Does he want to spend edge on this? Because, you know, he's a corporate executive. How often does he get a chance to have sex with a girl that cute? I'm pretty sure he'll spend edge. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just kind of like for the amount of money that he uh, that he can spend. So let's see here. I'm just going to make this fair. Heads, heads and tails. Okay. So he's going to spend edge. You gave him more dice than me. With edge. That's a really high edge, but okay. He's human. He's not magical, so he has five edge. Yeah, you kind of look at him, you're like, wait, this is human? This was once human. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had seven edge at some point, but he's had to he had to burn it in order to not die from a heart attack or a stroke. Alright, alright. I'll give you a hundred fifty thousand. No more. I'll go speak with the lady. <clears throat> So how does uh, 120,000 suit you? Uh, I blink and say, uh, what is that? That's 20%, isn't it? 20% is fine with me. Uh, that's fine as long as, you, uh, uh, as long as you wait outside. Let's assume she could hear me from across the bar. Because she's got as much bonuses to that shit as you have. Eh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go. Um, is there a hotel you prefer? One he pays for. So I'll walk back over. You give me the money now, and she follows you to whatever hotel you want. I'll uh, be standing outside the room, but you'll have complete privacy. He hands you a cred stick and a key. Room key. Card. Tell her to come to the 22nd floor of the Royal Heights. Room 2204. She'll be there with bells on. I cast fashion and add bells to my outfit. God damn it. So it's going to take him about an uh, hour or so to get carried back to his uh, suite. I don't know if I can stay sober enough to be awake uh, for an hour, but I'll give it a go. 
No, nah, not really. He has ma he has magic people carrying him. You have got to feel bad for their magical energies. Because even though they're not physically carrying him, they still look strained. Flashback. Yes? Where exactly, like, during the time that they're currently walking to the apart to the uh, suite, where are you in the Matrix? Like, what, what are you doing? I, I'm, I'm assuming you're in the Matrix because I know you. Yeah, I would be. Um, probably some uh, little quiet Matrix Cafe. Someplace uh, where me and the ladies can, you know, have some quiet time. Bip, bip. Is that a message? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, remember though. Check it out. Due to the due to the main fact, I typoed when I tried to do beep beep. Now this com link messages you with bep bep. Bep bep bep. Okay. I'll I'll uh, bring the message up in an AR window. It is. It is time. Or all a VR window. It is time for some goodwill to be spent. If you wish to receive this information, type back yes. If not, say no, and we will wait for a better time. We will say the message does does mean something for a comrade of yours. How, uh, how in-depth are things with the, uh, the ladies at the moment? Um, hmm. They're currently taking a break and going to get some, um, Gatorade. Oh. Matrix All right, Gatorade. Aw, uh, yeah. A little bit of pure residence. <laughs> Okay. Like the pure, pure, pure taste of blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this is what purple tastes like. Sure, I'll message him back, yes. Yeah. Bep, bep. Very good. Me message received. Information sent. Have a nice day. And we shall be in contact. Bip, bip. Yus. You get a link to a bounty hunter forum. Okay, I'll take a look. What's funny is you also notice chaos is in is uh, logged in because I assume that since he's on your friends list, you just you automatically know where he is in the matrix because you're a technomancer bullshit. Right, I'd see his icon. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind. of... Which is weird because he it's him but with horns and and stuff. And with what Volk said or like later, earlier in like earlier this month, you're like fitting. Makes sense. <laughs> Mana, you notice him staring at a picture and looking rather pissed off. Uh, who is it this time? Uh, I'll take a look at what he's looking at. I will give you a hint. Proceed. Look at your screen. Look at roll 20. Okay, I am now. Do you see the hint? Mm. Uh, no. There should be an arrow pointing directly to the hint. Uh, it's gone now. It's gone. See, I saw something for a second, but now it's gone. Ah. Okay. I got you now. I understand. 
Wanted by Mitsuhama. Price? I don't know. Squirrel, how, how much is your head worth? To a Megacorp, do you feel? To what? To who? Uh, Mitsuhama. I have no idea what he thinks my head's worth. Someone ballpark me a number. Depends on what he did, I guess. Um... I think he thinks that we cheated him out of near a million new yen. Well, then... pretty much... Think about it like this. You told him to hold the information for 10 days, right? Yes. Then you, then you sold it to this guy over here. This lady, sorry. Which yes. then they automatically released. They were going to blackmail the governor and put him in their pocket. Now he can't be in anyone's pocket. Not my fault he didn't, A, tell me what he was using the information for, or B, ask for exclusive rights. Well, True. Yeah, but this is also important. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Well, this yeah. is Squirrel's point of view. His oh. point of view is I fucked him over royally. Yeah. No, no, no. I fully agree with you. <laughs> he, did a, he didn't state anything. But by Mitsuhama's standpoint of uh, you just screwed him over royally, eh, how much would you think uh, the potential of a governor in your back pocket would be worth? I don't think it'd be so much that, so much as a matter of honor. I'd say he honestly, there's probably a hundred thousand new yen on my head. You know, ten. Per oh no, it'd be like ten percent of what he paid me. So that'd be seventy-five. Was it? Eh. Eh. Let's see here. Audience, audience, please cast your vote right now by pressing A, B, or C. Do, 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 Ah, audience results are in. You are worth exactly 250,000 yen to the Mitsuhama person to have your head mounted on his wall. Oh, bother. So, yeah, there are uh, flashback. You also notice that are, there are a few uh, marks on the poster. As in claims? Uh, pretty much the way this the bounty hunting forum works that Chaos is <coughs> is that you go in, you find who you want to hunt, and then you put your mark on him, and... In the case of multiple marks, it's basically whoever gets them first gets it. But there are four marks on him. Is one of them chaoses? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, you don't know. But you can probably assume that it's not going to be a it's not going to be a rose. It's not going to be a bee. It's also not going to be a snowman, and in the very least, it's not going to be the personification of a pussy. That would have been my guess, but okay. <laughs> you would guess it had to be something demonic with horns or something like that. Probably. Your best guess. I'm just saying that last one might have a decent chance of catching me. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. That would be the trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be too much if it was a Venus flytrap. Well, actually, it looks like it looks like a, it looks like a vagina, which is a, still a very bad word. It looks like a vagu. And then it also looks like Venus fly. It looks like a Venus flytrap all around it. Yeah, that's the one that's going to get him. Yep. So what you're telling me is that it's a clip from Teeth. Yes. <sighs> In that case, run! 
Quite honestly, I was going to have a ninja jump you in the bar, but this seems more fun. Right. And the ninja would have been the Mitsuhama executive going, You have, you have dishonored me! <sighs> Sorry, was that very... Is this, is this an, an independent Donnie Hutting website? Uh, yeah. Is... It's not tied to any actual corporation or legal authority. Okay. Uh, this look. This looks to be sha Shadow Bounty. I want to copy the information from okay. his bounty, oh, yeah. including okay. including the marks that are on it. Mm -hmm. And I want you to roll me your edge. If you want, you can spend edge on this. Well, let's see what I roll first. Wow. Edging and edge roll. Hmm. Is that what the kids are into these days? Yes, they edge their edge rolls with all the edge. They're rather edgy bastards. Jesus Christ. Why can nobody roll their edge today? Yeah, I'll add that. <laughs> yeah, I got two hits. Just to say. Come on, dice roller. Maybe two. There you go. You are actually, like, you notice something. By using their marks, you now have one mark on each of them. But you can only use that to, like, you can only use that to basically know their locations. You can't really do anything. This is a special type of mark. By, by knowing their mark, I have... You have location. I have, I have info on their, their icon. I can find them in the matrix. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Okay. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the, the bounty. Uh, I'm going to and and with with you know the the icons that are on it as far as like just a, like an image capture basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I'm gonna try to hack the hack the host. The host of the shadow bounty, shadow bounty. Yeah. You kind of feel chaos give you a stern look. And a message pops up on your screen. Don't get me kicked out of here. I don't even know you. Bullshit. There, <laughs> there are images of us working together. I want to do a matrix perception to try to get an idea how strong the host is. As far as like firewall and things. Mm. It seems to be run by a rather competent third party. So I'd say. Hmm. What is a competent firewall? Five? Yeah. Okay. Four or five. So the firewall's five, you notice. It's rather nice. It's actually very warm and toasty. All right. Uh, was that all you needed? Uh, that, that was just the big, my first step here. Okay. Um, I will hack on the fly. Zev? Yes. You have never been this high before. Woo! Oh, then I'm happy. You're like on the 15th floor of a building and it's still going up. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, Squirrel, what what floor is your actual apartment on again? My actual apartment? Uh, 14th floor. Okay, so you're also, like, you're kind of used to this, but you're like, ooh, I'm a little bit higher than I'm used to. Apparently, the higher you are, the better you are. Eh, he's still on the penthouse. He can't be that good. Well, no. The penthouse is currently being occupied by a dragon. I can assume. I don't know. Okay, is this a versus roll? Yeah, it'd be versus their firewall. And, I mean, if they got a, uh, a spider actively working, I guess it would be like will-powered firewall. But if otherwise, it'd be double firewall. Let's see here. Would they have a? Yeah, I feel they would have a. They'd have a spider working. Willpower, you say? Yeah, willpower firewall, I believe. So one mark on the host. Are you trying to take down the website or? No, I'm just going to edit the file. I want to change the picture, change the information. So that way, no more, no more marks get put on it. No, I don't need. I only need one mark. No, 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 the, the marks. On the oh right. Well, no, the people can still put marks on it. It's just now they're looking for the wrong person. Well, no more people would be looking for squirrel. Right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna edit the edit the picture, edit the information. Bas- yep. Basically. For John Doe, for John Doe reasons, upon the Jane Doe of the of the land of the deer. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I'll take a picture of the new bounty, and I want to send both of those over to Squirrel in a message with a "You're welcome" on it. Squirrel, you realize you don't have com access. As you get to the twenty-second floor, does this floor have some sort of uh, anti-wireless? Yes, it also has magical barriers on it. Not, nothing but the best for those of us here. Uh, technically, I should roll to get past the magical barriers, but okay. Well. Um, without dropping uh, sustained? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Additionally, do I see any any uh, bounty hunters near the last place I saw a squirrel? Um, In the Matrix? Let's see here. I mean, I can do perception if you want. You saw one person on an elevator below him before they both go dark. And it was and, one of the people that had... Okay. And it looked like the one with the B symbol. Also, everyone, welcome crack, Craptastic, playing Volk, the ever, the ever gruff, the ever drunk, the man with the plan who rides the motorcycle into the sunset, he who uses the shotgun with all the power of the, of the world and can take a dragon... <laughs> Yeah, I just got home from work. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm sorry. How's how's life crap? First week back on the job after the two-week vacation. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Uh, Yeah, that does suck. Yeah. So, uh, to uh, to catch you up with everything... Uh, Squirrel and Zev went to a bar, a midtown bar, in order to have a few drinks. They found this really fat slob fuck of a man, and Zev got offered 150,000 new yen in order to, um, <clears throat> things. Ew. Uh, Squirrel is, well, she's gonna make 120,000, Squirrel's gonna make 30, you know, uh, manager's fee. 
So Squirrel's currently a pimp or a fixer, however you want to word it. Let's see here. Chaos is currently in the Matrix accessing the Shadow, the shadow Bounty Board. And he noticed something. Um, I'm not on it. How can this be? <laughs> no, no, no. Flashback uh, got some information from the organization leading him to that bounty board, which he then... they He also found the information. Squirrel has a bounty on himself for 250,000 yen. He put a bounty on himself? No, no, no. Squirrel has a bounty upon himself by, oh, okay. Mitsu, by Mitsuhama. In our, in our in our defense as Shadowrunners, he he never specified that we can we couldn't only sell to him. Yeah. To him though, you will dishonor me. Basically, they were gonna blackmail the governor and put him in their back pocket. So yeah, there are currently four four uh, bounty hunters going after Squirrel, and the money on his at head. least. At least it's not Shiawase. Indeed. But, yeah. And one of them, like, each one uses a different icon. Um, let's see here. One's a bee, one's a snowman. One is the personification of Teeth, the movie. Ew. And I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember the first one. What was the first one? Also, where's our fucking mage? <laughs> Gone. Well, Zeb's right there. <laughs> Fuck me up the ass. So yeah, uh, Squirrel and Zev are currently on the 22nd floor of a high rise where the uh, executive uh, lives. And they're <laughs> currently dark. Meaning uh, no, no matrix or magic access. Uh, right. Dark Douglas, if you want to roll for that, you can go ahead, but I'm not going to force you. I know I will roll that. It's fine. Okay. Is it an area? Effect? Does it seem to be an, an area affecting uh, noise? Yeah, it's basically the 20th floor up. Like, it's not hmm. around the building. It's literally the 20th. 20th, 20th floor and up on the building. Uh, Volk? Uh. You see Chaos quickly come into the room, start picking up weapons, and shaking you out of the bed. Mm. What? Come on, we gotta go. What? Squirrel fucked up something. To make all of us more money. But yeah, my fault. I'm and... sure Volk is perfectly happy to blame the elf. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I never even messing. videoed with him, so I'm not sure how he has enough of his stuff to post make a, <clears> make a board for me, but... Mega Corporation. They... A mega Corporation doesn't need to explain their bullshit. They just do bullshit. I'm just going to send a message over to Chaos with uh, new face, question mark. No, no. Where's his last location? I'll send over the address. Thank you. Are you able to run comms? Not where he is. Shit. Did you see any of... Uh, did you... Did you see any of those marks on him? Yep, they're moving in on his, on his location. Which one? Uh, the B, uh, floor down. Oh, shit. Now, well, let's see here. Well, at least it's... At least it's only him. He's not much... He's not much of a... Of a hassle, but fuck. Ugh. Come on, Volk, I'm driving. Fuck. Ugh. How far away is the hotel from where I am? 
Um, 10, 15 minutes. Distance wise. Oh. Uh, Matrix or Meat? Matrix? I mean, it's. I, I'm looking at noise rating to go from here to there. Uh, hmm. 15, 10 to 15 minutes in the Matrix. For Chaos and Volk, it's going to be more around 30 minutes to 45. So, score. But I mean, in, in the Matrix, I could be there instantly. Yep. It's just yep. how much noise is there between me and it. Like, how much, what are my roles going to be affected? Uh, I don't know. It's like so much per, per mile. Oh. Let me look it up. It's going to be about 10 miles. So. I don't really know. Minus oh, yeah. two per mile, that makes... Oh, my... Oh. I think it'd be easier just for you to have one of your Oni girls carry you there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, by the way, Volk. Uh, Apparently his Oni has, has a twin sister. I don't need to know that. Ten kilometers would be on level noise three. Oh, okay. Anything over like anything between ten and a hundred kilometers would be noise five. But yeah, chaos is trying his best to get a hold of Squirrel throughout the drive to the hotel. But you know, so would it be would it be three or five? Eh, let's make it a bit difficult for you. Five. Let's have some fun. Okay. Uh, Squirrel. Yes. You're on the 22nd floor, currently outside the room. Zev, you're currently inside the room, and you're quite impressed by you're quite impressed by that. Ooh, let's say 100 inch TV on the wall. <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. Well. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Find the Penis game. One dollar, find your penis, find your penis, find your penis, one dollar. He's going to need a jack just to move all the fat rolls out of the way. <laughs> True. All right. Well, yes. Uh, let's see here. Zev, are you doing anything to try and not have sex with this man? No. Uh, the, only thing I, the only thing I'm trying to do is make him last uh, long enough to make me happy. Once I've done that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> once I've done that, I'll forget about fucking him and cast... Uh, um, opium on him so that he has a good time and I can just go to sleep. So, let's see here. By you being happy, he's more than likely going to have to burn two edge to do that. Well, he better get on with it then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Volk, Chaos goes ahead, goes ahead and hands you a, um energy drink. With alcohol, glug, glug. with alcohol in it a little bit because, you know. Glug, 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 glug. All right, so. But yeah. And Squirrel, you're kind of not trying not to pay attention to what's going on in the room right now. I have my selective sound filter filtering out any noise coming out from that door. Good. You hear footsteps. Uh, is there any furniture in this hallway? Um, eh, there's a pot of plant. Uh, I'm going to go to the next door over, and I'm going to try my key card.
So those two roles were uh, putting one mark on the host for the hotel and trying to set off the fire alarm. Okay. Oh, um, before I do that, I'm going to set up my tripwire behind the potted plant. Okay. And, yeah, I feel you would get to the host rather nicely. I burned an edge for I spit an edge for it, but, yeah, I, 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 that should do it. Okay. And, yeah, you're behind the potted plant. It's not exactly the best hiding place, but, you know. I'm not behind the potted plant. My trip bar is behind the potted plant. I'm using my uh, electronic pass card, or what was it called? Oh. Do. Oh. Roll edge. Maglock pass key? Maglock pass key. Thank you. Rating four. So that's uh, oh, two oh, successes that, against that, it. That. Okay, okay. I thought you meant the uh, key card that he handed you, because then I'd be like... No, I gave that to Zev. Okay. All right, so rating times two? Yes. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. So, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, I'll spend edge. Can you spend edge? Uh, uh, yeah, can I? I for you using item to hack into something that doesn't exactly necessitate necessitate us wait is this a skill roll no but you can use edge for edge's luck technically you can edge anything yeah well you can't edge any everything you can't edge auto softs yeah that's true so will this count count in that case douglas or can or do you think you can edge this um, I think that you use. Uh, uh, I would let him edge it, to be honest, because it doesn't. It doesn't say you can't in those individual entries for like mag locks and stuff. I think the idea is you're using it with a skill rather than on its own, isn't it? Okay, go ahead. Four successes now. Okay, the door opens. It turns green. Right, I... It goes beep. I'll slide inside. I'll. Close the door and draw my gun. Well, as you do that, you also notice that inside the room is a rather attractive female elf who has a towel wrapped around herself and looks as if she just got out of the shower. So sorry, ma'am. I wouldn't be here, but it's a life and death situation. You understand. She's trying to not scream, so she's going to roll her composure. Can I assist? She does not scream. She's just kind of surprised that someone suddenly barges into her room while she's fully nude. Well, not fully, but, yeah. Folk, you have no idea why you're currently going. The, o the only reason why you're currently going there is because Chaos is dragging you. Yeah. But then he mentions that currently four people that he knows are going after Squirrel. And he says they're rather good people. Like, good. As in combat. Not good as in good people. Oh. So now, now your inner uh, dragon slayer goes, <laughs> Combat! Challenge. Challenge accepted. So yes. Challenge accepted. Um, let's see here. Squirrel? Yes? I want you to roll me your natural charisma with Taylor Pheromones. What? <laughs> wow. You should be dishonored. You should feel dishonor at that. Squirrel just goes back out into the hallway and <laughs> puts his arms out wide. Just accepts death. <laughs> Take me at now. Glitch. Yeah, at least you didn't glitch. Yeah. If you had glitched that, then I would just be like, you walk outside, you hold out your arms, and you're like, Take me now. 
but yeah, so you're pretty much, you're waiting, you hear the footsteps go by, and another sound that you didn't hear before, the squeaking of wheels. Wait, the footsteps go by? Yes. They didn't hit my tripwire. Mm, nope. But you also hear the squeaking of wheels. And grumbling. Just saying it would take eight successes to spot it. No, no, no. You hear, you hear, goddamn kids. Fucking making up pranks and everything like that. Lucky old, lucky old Splinty here was in the Marines. Otherwise, I would not have seen that, motherfuckers. Okay, it's a, when I say tripwire, I mean it's my microfilament whip. Oh. Jesus, man, you're going to go for a janitor like that? You evil bastard. Yeah, cut his fucking ankles off. <laughs> you know what? This old man sur- survived war. He's going to he's gonna have edge. Where he's going, he doesn't need feet. Holy, these are shit gods. And let's see here. I'm going to put it at this. D6. Matt. And, yeah. And this shit can cut through metal, right? Yeah. How easily? Armor piercing eight. Okay. So for that one for that one cyber leg, I'm just gonna have him go ahead and roll. Well, it, wait, he's pushing a cart forward, right? Yeah. But so it, the... it, not really a cart, but you know. Yeah, he's he's putting up a mop bucket, but at the same time, one leg is currently right there as well. Okay, so I mean, I'd say you know, roll edge, see if he the the bucket starts leaking before he steps through it. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll go with that. Goddamn kids making up pranks for Miss for Splinty in order to get into. Duh! As if my job wasn't hard enough, clean after these fat bastards. I like this guy. <laughs> then, there, then there's that fucking old guy in, in 2203. Fucking never brings anyone around. I was always, always such a jackass to me, too. Just because I was a Marine. <coughs> Fuck, Splinty. Now you're rough on my throat. Well, that's because old Splinty... That's because old Splinty has a splinty dick. <coughs> UCAS. <laughs> Just be lucky he's not a troll, then I would have actually made a joke about a space marine. Hmm. <clears throat> so I'll turn to the um, elf. I am so sorry to intrude. I <sighs> spider senses were tingling, I guess. Hmm. She smiles and is completely fine with that. She she's like, oh, no worries, no worries. Everyone gets jumpy. I'll put the gun away and uh, hold a hand out to her. Squirrel. She holds out her hand. Venus. In cancer? Uh, do I get a shadow community roll for that? Uh, no, just make more... Well, actually, you don't know this information. Hmm. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a shadow community. Four successes. Wow, and yet if you tried to roll your charisma, nothing works. That that was a that was freaky. It was like I was trying to shoot somebody or something. I know, right? 
you don't really get anything for like you get a few venuses apparently it's kind of a rather femme fatale name in the shadow community it's real it's like you you know maybe six seven different venuses that you would fuck hmm that okay, you, that you but, actually have on your two fuck list. But does her description match anyone in my head that I know named Venus? Three. <sighs> Not the Venus. She kind of tilts her head. Mm. <clears throat> my, it's just the name my parents gave me. Really? I mean, you could judge intentions if you want. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, it's Splitty! Oh, God, is he gonna... Is this gonna be an... Is this gonna be a thing every single time whenever you guys do something horrible? Suddenly, old Splitty's like, My, my bucket! <laughs> uh, six successes. <laughs> 